So here you will learn to name alkyl halides. So we talk about the nomenclature of Rx alkyl halides. So let's look at this example. Let's try to name this. Take a few seconds. We go with the longest chain of carbon first as we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Take note, this is chlorine, not a carbon. So one more time, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do we count from this way or the other way? We have to see. Going from the right, we'll reach the first substituents on the second carbon. Going from the left, the first substituent is on the first carbon. So we have to label this as 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We will list down the substituents here. 1, chloro. 2, fluoro. There's a 2 Br and a 3 Br, so 2, 3, di, bromo. 4, iodo. And now let's arrange them. We compare C, F, B, and I. B comes before C, then F, then I. So the whole name for this molecule will be known as 2, 3, di, ro, mo, 1, chloro, 2, fluoro, hyphen, 4, iodo, 5, carbon chain, 10, tain. Right. Just a note, if somebody asks you to name this, AT is astatin, in the same group as all the other halogens here. This is weird because it's uncommon to be asked Astatin. So how do we incorporate this into the name? By now, you, have you should have learned that in organic chemistry, you see a pattern, a trend. So from chlorine, you get chloro, fluorine, fluoro, bromine, bromo, iodine, iodo. So now we have astatin. They have the same suffix. So how do we change it to an adjective? You got it? This S. Tato, right? We drop the in, insert the O, we get the adjective in terms of the naming. So if you oppose this question to name this, not too difficult, three carbon chain, astatin on the first carbon, we call this one as tato propane.